Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. So today is gonna be a little different. I'm not trying a new product out, um, makeup, hair, whatever, but this is about my hair. And this is something I think a lot of you guys are interested in. Um, I don't talk much about, I never did like a porosity test, like where you, you pull your hair, you float it in water, does it float, does it not? I'm here on YouTube to show you what products make my hair look good and don't make my hair look good and how to make your hair feel soft and healthy etc etc I'm not into the scientific part of it and there are people on YouTube who are more into that and it can explain it and I'm I don't want to give like false information because that's just not my field you know like I, I don't know much about it I just know if I like it, I'm gonna use it and if it feels good then I'm gonna use it and if I don't like the way it makes my hair feel I'm not gonna use it that's pretty much my thing my main bio reached out and wanted to send me a kit so that I can test all those things about my hair and I can learn about my hair and know all about it so I was like you know what I think this is something you guys would be interested in doing again I find it interesting to read because I'll show you the whole process in a second so okay you go on the website and you fill out a questionnaire and um, there's a bunch of questions it'll ask you you'll see I'll show you on the screen um, you, you answer a bunch of questions and um, they send a kit out to you and when you get this kit you need to provide a certain amount of hair strands it's very easy instructions that come along with this kit you have to make sure these hair strands are not like don't pull ones from your brush because I'm thinking you're going to have product in it, you know? So what I did is, and it has to have, be free of conditioner even, conditioner, styling products, everything. So I washed my hair, and listen, I have plenty of hair, and I'm sure you can agree, I'm sure the same for you. When you're in the shower and you're putting your shampoo, conditioner, whatever in, I mean, I always, every single time I shower, I don't want it to go down the drain because I don't want, you know, to have an issue with my draining, but I take those hairs and I, I, collect them and then when I'm done with my shower I put them in the garbage so um, this time I shampooed my hair collected all that hair left it to the side and I did it a few days of this and it was funny I'm telling my husband don't throw this hair out he's like oh he was like Ugh, it's disgusting what is that I said, this part I'm collecting I want to make sure I had enough so like you could t probably do it in one day whatever the instructions are very self-explanatory you so I put them to the side they dried and then you have a bag like a little sandwich bag kind of bag and there's a card in it and they want you to wrap again instructions are right on that card they want you to wrap your hair around this around this hair around this card I did my best that's all I'll say but it got to the point where like yeah this is like really difficult especially with curly hair right because it's not straight and going around the card so easily so I did my best that's all I could say um, you seal it with a little air I think has to be in it See, just follow the instructions send it back and then you will and then you'll get like a whole document all about your hair they will examine your hair they'll tell you all about your hair and I thought it'd be pretty cool I'm gonna tell you though this is 36 pages of information that I have here that's a lot of information so I'll go over a little bit obviously I'm not gonna go over a lot but um, I really do feel like a lot of you got you guys want to know if you're really into you want to you want to say what am I doing wrong with my hair how come it's not working maybe you're watching videos from me and you're like yeah it's still not working like I'm not sure what I'm doing right or wrong as I always say we all have very different hair texture wise um, thick thin full you know we're all so different so what might work for me might not work for you vice versa this is something that you might want to do because they'll suggest a lot of information to you and how you can improve your hair the health of your hair what products you should use but we'll get into this I'm again I, I can't go over the whole thing it's so much but it's a lot and I, I really think you guys are definitely gonna like this okay so let's just uh, see what my results are I did look this over obviously we have a quick quick little summary on the first page and I'll go over that because that's like just getting right to it. So it's funny because I'm going to tell you something. I didn't know about porosity hair. I didn't hear the word porosity when it came to hair until I started YouTube. And again, like I had mentioned before, I saw those videos like, oh, what's 
what's my porosity type? Let me have it float in water and see. And I'm like, why am I? I could have done a video like that, but I'm like, that's just not my type of video. I'm not, again, I'm not into that. Um, Cause I personally don't care as much about that stuff, but I know that a lot of you guys do. So, and I said that already, but um, so that's why you would really love this. Okay, porosity. I have low and low to normal porosity at the root, normal porosity at the mid shaft, and normal to high porosity at the tip. So I pretty much have every type of porosity <laughs> that you can think of, I guess. Okay, texture. Now this I like because I feel like with you guys, you can't feel my hair, obviously on video, but when I tell you that it's coarse, some people have replied, you do not have coarse hair. Your hair is not curly, your hair is um, wavy. I don't know. That's your belief and you're entitled to that opinion. But now I have proof. So it says, um, so I am 50% I am medium width, I'm 25% coarse and 25% very coarse. So yeah, my density is thick high density. Um, do you need to know the width? No. It's interesting here. They, they suggest what type of trim I should get and it's pretty much what I do get anyway. Um, it says a one to two inch trim can help remove some high porosity sections of your hair and make it a bit easier to manage. This will also help the curls be slightly more lifted and less likely to tangle. Um, that's what I do. I, I, get, I get layers in my hair so that my curls kind of bounce up. That's what I do. The overall health of my hair, it's a little paragraph here that'll explain it, um, but I'll just read the first sentence. Overall, your hair is in good health. That's all I need to know. <laughs> then make sure I'm doing everything pretty much what I'm supposed to be doing. It appears that you have naturally low to normal porosity hair, but weathering has resulted in higher porosity hair mid shift and lower. It says a unique feature in my hair is kinking. I don't know if I have that problem, um, but I could see that they might have. Now, what you also get with this are actual pictures of your hair, um, which I find pretty cool. It really, it just gets into such detail about the pictures of your hair, which I'll, I'll put up on the screen. Pictures, a lot of pictures of your hair. Oh. They, part of the questionnaire is to ask what products you use and what products you like. So they actually went through a few of the products that I put down and told me if they feel like it's it's good that you're using that or maybe you shouldn't use that. Again, I know a lot of you guys like this because you'll say, I have this type of hair. Would I be able to use this product? They will tell you. My main bio will tell you, you shouldn't use that. Use this. Um, the reason why you shouldn't, and they'll get into that. They'll say, so of course my fr I have on Mixed Chicks Leave-In. You all know I love that. They give you a list of all the ingredients in that product. Um, I recommend this product for your hair with a few reservations. So it gets into it. Again, I don't wanna like bore you. This is good like read for yourself, but like I'll again just tell you what. It's interesting because Tressa My Curl Hydrate Curl Cream which is at the top of my list, you all know. At the moment, they wrote, I do not recommend this product for your hair. But then they get into it and then they say, so with all that said, if you like the results you're getting with this product, feel free to use it. But it may be contributing to buildup and it does not have protein, which your hair needs slightly. Yes, it said that I need more protein, so. They recommended the Aunt Jackie's, the Redken. Again, recommend what with few reservations. So that's cool. You could tell them what products you like and um, they'll tell you why you should and shouldn't use this. Then they get into how to care and style your hair. Recommendations, don't have to follow it. They're talking about pre-washing. Um, they're saying I could use some oil to my damaged roots two or four hours before washing. Coconut and olive oil are great oils, they're suggesting. This is interesting, I found. It says, this will prevent, by putting the oil towards my root, this will prevent the porous regions of your hair from swelling from the intake of water. Hair swelling makes hair weak and prone to breakage. I've been saying that for a while now, which is why I like to style my hair damp and get all that water out because water is not good for your hair. But then they do say to style it soaking wet, but then get all that water out. Not my favorite way of styling, but um, it's added to like a list of ways to style. So 
it's really what you're comfortable with, which they also say like, do whatever works for you, but here's some, some suggestions. And this is something I really suggest that you check out because this is just gonna give you a ton of information on your hair, what to do, how to style it, specifically for your hair type. I thought this was funny. In, as they're telling you styling tips and whatever, literally in cap letters, do not touch your hair until dry, exclamation point. I do that all the time, never touch your hair until it's fully dry. And sometimes you guys are like, you're touching your hair. I'm like, no, it, it might not look dry because it's like the cast is on, trust me. If I touch my hair when it's wet, it's just to kind of like put it in the diffuser. I never touch my hair until it's fully dry. Then I scrunch out, which is another thing that they also suggest to get rid of that cast. A lot of techniques. Plopping your hair, uh, diffusing your hair with medium, low, or no heat. I use heat. They tell you how to refresh and maintain your hair. I know you guys ask me all the time how to refresh second day hair. Second day hair is not the best for me unless I have a lot of product in for them the day before and it was a good product. Then I can wake up, my hair is decent enough that I'll put a little dollop on of anything in my hair, any product, um, usually cream based. And then I'll just do that, put my hair like I'm putting in a ponytail and just kind of go around and fix it and it's good to go. Most of the time that doesn't work though. The curls just, they just, I feel like my curls need to be soaking wet to the root to get defined curls. And I've seen second day refresh videos where they're basically using a spray bottle and doing what I just said, soaking your hair up to the bone. But I'm like, I am not gonna do that with a spray bottle. I'm just gonna jump in the shower and condition my hair on top of it and have a nice condition to my hair. That's for me easier. I'm all about easy and time saving. Literally. You also, the part of the questions are, are um, what are your hair goals and what are your frustrations about your hair? I just listed typical like dryness, frizz, you know, um, and they said, interestingly, your hair is well moisturized. When we refer to moisture, we refer to the water content. Again, that goes back to, don't let your hair be soaked in water. Tons of information on all of that. Um, telling you how to apply your product, talking about product buildup, hard water, I mean, pre-poo, clarifying washes. I don't clarify my hair. I don't even know, I, I just, I gotta look into that more, guys. That's just not something I, um, I know it will help with the buildup, so I'll look into that. They do give you some, oh, actually, I guess I do clarify, because they're putting a list of stuff that I have used. <gasps> Lust Gentle Moisturizing Shampoo, love, love your hair from Lust. Um, Maui Moisture Shampoo. They give you a list of products that would be good for my hair to use. With this analysis, you get three follow-up emails if you have any questions or anything. Um, email exchanges, I should say, so they will reply to you. I feel like I went through the important stuff. Again, I didn't want to make this like, I'm not going to just sit here and read, 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 because that's like a boring video for you guys. So I just wanted to give you guys a little summary of what you would expect and receive from my main bio. If you are interested in finding out all about your hair, and it doesn't have to just be curly hair, but um, honestly guys, it's a ton of information and these are pictures of your hair. So I really suggest checking it out. To get this analysis, it costs $89, which I think you do get a lot of information from this that you'll have forever. Um, I might have a promo code below. I have to, sorry, I should have been prepared for that, but um, if I do, I will put it below. It, it could be $5 off if I'm not mistaken, but hey, it's something. I honestly suggest you guys try this out. You'll know more about your hair, how to work with it, how to wash it, how to do all of this, and it might make sense to you and then you can start with your curly hair journey and honestly to me this is so much better than like following curly girl hair the curly girl method I don't follow curly girl method I never did um, there's a lot of things on there I'm just like I don't know I think they're just so like strict with things and they don't understand that everybody has different hair everybody has different hair texture everybody has different you know everything about your hair like this is this is designed for you, for your hair. This is gonna tell you what products to use, how to do it. This is like a hundred times more information than Curly Girl Method, and it's for you, you alone. So, I mean, 
Still watch my channel though for techniques and stuff and if you do like products, if you want to know if certain products work of course, but um, that's my suggestion to you. So I'm going to wrap it up guys. Hopefully I didn't bore you because I really, again, I didn't want to just read. I wanted to talk to you about it. Um, 36 pages, that's a lot of pages. So check out my main bio, figure out what's your hair, figure out all about your hair, what's going on with my hair, how to style it, what products to use, etc., etc. Guys, I'm going to wrap this up. And um, until next time, have a great day. Bye.